While they were in Nigeria, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle allegedly got into a big fight. Archie and Lilibet, the children, were the subject of an alleged argument between Markle and Prince Harry, according to a newspaper report. As they were escorted through Abuja and Lagos in a 14-car convoy accompanied by soldiers clad in balaclavas and armed with machine guns, the couple's royal tour took on the air of a presidential visit. Due to security and logistical concerns, they moved to the Fraser Suite instead of the Transcorp Hilton because a significant gathering of African leaders was scheduled at the same time. The Sussexes occupied the entire top floor of the Fraser Suites in central Abuja as their base for the trip, according to the Daily Mail, along with their security team, various Invictus Games directors and aides. They had the privilege of staying in the executive penthouse, which cost $3,000 per night and had four bedrooms, a living and dining area, and stunning views of Lagos. The couple used the hotel for numerous wardrobe changes during their stay. They were escorted back to the airport by military personnel as they left Abuja early on Monday. The Fraser Suites have two restaurants, a gym, a swimming pool, private gardens, and other modern amenities. However, Harry and Meghan avoided the hotel's public areas and opted to dine in their suite. We were all told not to speak about them staying here, but now they've gone. It's okay to share, a staff member stated. They were here very early on Friday and left very early on Monday for the British Airways flight back to London. An insider claims that, despite Harry and Meghan smiling for the cameras during a brief speech at the state governor's house in Lagos on Mother's Day, May 12th, they were miserable behind closed doors. In a video that Aruku Network uploaded to TikTok, Meghan said, I'm very grateful, I'm very humbled, and today is Mother's Day. So it feels right, but we are obviously missing our children. I miss my children. She continued, referring to her young son and daughter and their Nigerian heritage, but it feels very appropriate to be in the motherland and among fam. Therefore, I sincerely appreciate your kindness and these lovely names. We are extremely appreciative and can't wait to return. For the reception at the Lagos State Governor's House, Megan wore a Carolina Herrera yellow floor-length dress that Megan W. had made for her when she was pregnant with Archie. In the past, she wore it to celebrate his first birthday in 2020. When Meghan and Prince Harry made the public announcement that they were expecting Lilibet on Valentine's Day in 2021, she donned the flowing gown once more to make the pregnancy announcement. Isn't it funny to celebrate Mother's Day without children? However, Harry and Meghan's disagreement persisted, putting strain on their relationship. During the trip, Meghan wore an extravagant outfit that cost nearly £120,000. The budget Prince Charles provided to the couple from the Duchy of Cornwall covered the cost of Meghan's workwear while she was a member of the royal family. But since the couple said they wanted to be financially independent, it's not clear who will pay for Meghan's clothes or if the Duchess gets discounts from designers or always pays full price.